All right. Well, I tried to give you an explanation for why this formula makes sense when we draw the cylindrical disks. But as a, as a backup, you should just have in your cheat sheet what the cookbook formula is for using this method. So this is the cookbook formula for uh, finding this area. It's pi times y squared with, uh, from a to b. You can see that's the formula that we used here. Pi um, and y was 1 over x. So this is the formula when we're using the disk method around the x-axis. This is the formula when you're using the disk, the, the disk method around the x-axis. And of course, you have to plug in for y. Because in order to evaluate this, it's all going to be in terms of x. So you would plug in whatever y is in terms of x to actually evaluate the integral. So it's good to be able to draw these pictures so you can explain where the equation is coming from. But uh, this is the, the, the cookbook formula. Can that make any sense? Yeah. Can we do number 24? OK. Can we even plug in for y? Well, if you're taking the, uh, an integral with respect to x, everything has to be in terms of x. So in, for example, in this case, y was 1 over x. So I started by writing this formula, but then I plugged in 1 over x okay. for y. Because this, um, this derivative, can't, this antiderivative can't be taken yet. You can't take the antiderivative until everything is in the same terms as your, as, as, uh, your variable of integration. Mm -hmm. Maybe um, this would be clearer if I had called this y of x squared. So you should plug in what y of x is in squared, but it should be left in terms of x. All right, so what was? 24, last one. Number 24? OK. And we talked about how to figure out whether you're using the cylindrical shell method or the disk method. You have to ask um, whether your uh, rectangular strips are parallel or perpendicular to your axis. So the formula I just put down was, would not work for the cylindrical shell method. The cylindrical shell method is different. So in number 24. shell method is when you're using rectangular strips that are parallel to the axis that you're rotating around. Okay, and the other method is when you're using rectangular strips that are perpendicular okay. to the axis you're rotating around. Um, and those are two completely different methods. So like okay. I said, the formula I put on the board is not what you would use for cylindrical shells. Okay. 